Five on your health tonight diagnosing chest pain. Some tests are invasive, they carry risks, but new technology at one Boston hospital is making it easier for doctors to see what's really happening to the heart. You can see how lumpy bumpy they are. Dr. James Udelson has seen plenty of heart trouble before, but this view is new. Those are cholesterol blockages. Unlike a traditional CAT scan, this 3D image shows what's happening inside the arteries. If the blood flow is too slow, the patient can experience chest pain and in some cases, a heart attack. This would be your guide as to which blockage was causing the problem. It's a new process called heart flow analysis and Tufts Medical Center is the first hospital in Boston to start using it. We've never been able to measure blood flow directly without doing an invasive procedure. And the blood flow data that comes from the heart flow technology is quite similar um, to the invasive catheterization data. Heart disease is the number one killer for both men and women in the U.S. So figuring out new ways to evaluate blockages safely and quickly before they become deadly is critical. With heart flow, a cardiologist sends the patient to radiology for a CAT scan using this new super fast machine. The new CT scanners are able to freeze the heart motion and take a scan through the whole heart in the time a patient can hold their breath. The radiologist sends those pictures to heart flow, which uses them to build a 3D model of the patient's arteries. The company then applies the principles of fluid dynamics to simulate blood flow and measure exactly where it slows down. So at this test, we can really be very precise on the clinical significance of each individual blockage. Within hours, the results are in. This is a very abnormal blood flow indicating that the blockages up here you know, are very significant. In this case, Dr. Udelson would recommend more testing, then possibly a stent or even bypass surgery to open the artery. But the other 90% of people who aren't at risk, you can rapidly figure that out and send them home. So right now at Tufts, heart flow is only available to cardiology patients, but doctors in the emergency room may be able to use it soon.